Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. In today's tutorial, we will learn the fundamentals of Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a web analytics tool that helps you track and analyze website traffic. It provides insights into user behavior for better decision making. It identifies who visits your site, including age, gender, and location, helping businesses target the right audience. It tracks how users find your website, such as through search engines, social media interactions, or ads, optimizing the marketing efforts. It analyzes what users do on your site, users' flow, drop off points, including pages visited and actions taken, improving engagement, and complete market performance overview. It also helps in conversion tracking, helping measure signups, purchases, or key actions to evaluate market success. Real time data helps monitor traffic spikes and events. Custom goals track business objectives, measuring performance and effectiveness. So basically, Google Analytics is your one stop tool, and businesses use these insights to enhance website performance, boost engagement, and increase conversions. So this was a quick brief overview of Google Analytics. So that said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel, Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier data and product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with Google Analytics. So, before we get started to deep dive on how to establish a connection with a website, how to you know proceed with Google Analytics, let's understand a few basic situations and scenarios. Firstly, what exactly is Google Analytics? Let's say you came up with a business plan. You have a certain product and you want to sell it to your audience. Let's say you had uh, a medical achievement. You created a new diabetes tablet and you wanted to sell it online. Or let's say you have a certain product and you want to sell it out like computer chips or you delivered some mobile phones or anything like that, right? So you had a business idea. So you created a website and you host all your products on that particular website. And now you want the sales right uh let's say in the first few weeks you made some sales and now you want to let's say two times of it or three times of it you want to exponentially grow your business but you don't know how to do it and you came across data analytics and you're doing it right and it's working right but all of a sudden you want to deep dive and target your products to a particular set of audience who are really interested in your products right in such scenario you perform some advertisements you create a social media handle for your product on various platforms and then market it. Anyways, you'll get the leads and everything. And now you want to still go a little bit deeper into that rabbit hole and you want to find out what is the biggest source of your audience and who are the age group and where exactly which geographic location is really interested in your products, right? Sounds a little more interesting. So this is what the problem statement is. And in such problem statement or a use case, Google Analytics is another web-based tool or plugin that helps you analyze these things. Now, you might have just created a website for your product and you have launched your product on that particular website. And now you're getting leads from all the social media platforms, say YouTube, Google, maybe, right? Somebody searched for the product name and Google gave results of your product as well and Facebook or Meta, Instagram, Twitter, and somebody might have also, you know, put up some sales, right? So Google Analytics will help you to 
understand the experience visitors had based on the factors like bounce rate, etc., interaction, right? Now, Google Analytics will help you understand what exactly happened, what kind of customer base that your product is attracting based on the age group, based on geographic location, based on gender, etc. And apart from that, to dig a little bit deeper, you will now understand what kind of uh, promotion or what kind of source you have as your biggest asset for your traffic. Are they coming from paid advertisement? Are they coming from a specific platform? What is the exact source that is promoting your product to get highest number of traffic? And to go a step further, Google Analytics will also help you understand the experience visitors had on your website. Let's say you have a really vibrant website and you have n number of visitors and due to the vibrant appearance or aesthetically not comfortable appearance, most of the visitors bounced back. Let's say that is the reason for your bounce rate. Now you tell your team to improvise your website to be a little subtle and simplistic for the users and automatically the bounce rate reduces and the traffic rate increases and you get a lot of leads, right? Such kind of business decisions can be made with the help of Google Analytics. So this is the basic understanding of what exactly Google Analytics is and how it is purposed for businesses. Now, let's proceed with the demonstration on Google Analytics, how to set up a website and how exactly you analyze a website, what's the traffic, what do you mean by interaction, what do you mean by bounce rate, etc. And how do you exactly understand on what geographic location you have the maximum traffic, right? So let's go through all those steps one after the other. So this was a sample website that I just created from one of the templates that uh, Google Sites has to provide. I just gave it a random number and I visited it once or twice and it gave me some results. So we had about two active users, 70 event counts. And if you just scroll a little bit more, then here you can see from which country did I get the session from and a couple of other important insights here. Now, these are just sample reports. Now, to learn a little bit better, Google Analytics have already provided us a demo account. Here you can see what exactly a Google Analytics dashboard looks like. Before we get ahead with this, let's try to create another website using Google Sites so that we can understand how exactly this works. Now, here you can take up any of these sample templates for sites or you can create an entire new site which is blank and you can have your own additions to it now i'll go with the help center template which is right present over here and it should start in a moment there you go now uh, let's say how can we help you i'll write down a couple of more inputs to it there you go so i've named it as demo simply how can we help you now to get analytics for this particular demo website, you need to connect this particular website before publishing. It's not published yet. See here, you have the publish icon here. We have not published this website yet, and it's not shared with any of the one. It's not public yet. So before we get started with analytics, you need to connect both this analytics and help center or the website that you designed, right? For that, you need to go to the settings option right here, and here you can do some changes, etc. But since we're dealing with analytics, go to the analytics button right here. And here you can see enable analytics. But now there's a small problem. It needs Google's analytics tracking or measurement ID. Now, how do you do that? For so that, you need to go back to the analytics.google.com. And if you're a new user, you can just create an account and proceed ahead. But if you already have an account like me, you can see something like this right over here. Now, don't worry if you don't have a login credential for Google Analytics. You can just create a Google account and have analytics enabled in that. Now, here, this particular account or this particular dashboard is for a different account. So, as we have, uh, uh, you know, updates here. So, we have first one, which was demo one. After that, we have a family update. And you can also disable this if you don't want. And now, let's create a new account for this particular website that we created right away. So creating an account is really simple. Just go to the admin settings right here. And from the admin settings, you can proceed with this one. So go to the create option and create an account. 
and then you can give uh, some name to your account let's say simply uh, the same name what we have for our account which is help center we'll give the help center name here now that we have given name just check all the options here so here we have uh, account sharing settings if you want you can just click in this one if you want to share your data with google uh, or you can just straight away go to the next option over here and proceed with the next one so here you can give the same name here as well so help space center simply and here you have an option of deciding with the reporting time zones by default it is united states of america you can change it if you want and same with the currency for now this is just for demo purpose so we will proceed with what we have here now next and here you want to select what type of business you have now you can go with a wide range of options over here for now it's just for education purpose so you can choose education here or i'll go with the last one which is other business activity so i'll go with the smallest option here one to ten employees and next done and here you can also choose some objectives of your business so based on your requirement i'll go with everything and anything available here uh, if you want you can choose not to select them as well and then just create and just go through the terms and agreements of the google analytics team and after you're done you can just select the also accept data processing i accept and there you go in short notice your account is done now you want to choose a platform whether you want to go with web android app or ios i'd like to go with web so just select web and here you might have to put the url of your website which is here now you have the answer why did i take the use of google sites option and create a demo website so whenever you are creating an official website using wordpress or any of the web development applications out there you need to have all the credentials of that particular website you need to be the owner of that particular website so that's the reason for demo and learning purposes we created a sample website using googlesites.com now before we proceed let's go with this particular website and here you have a url link so you can just close this and select this particular url can't copy because unpublished so you can just publish this for now in you know kind of uh, private or unlisted mode now you have the link enabled just copy the link of this particular url and go back to the analytics center and paste it right here and you might want to change a couple of things so if you have to remove the http double slash thing you don't want that because you already have it here and you also don't want this particular home page link so now you have just name of the application and no slash home there you go so this is all you need and even http is not required right and now you can just provide a name for your stream you can choose any random one so let's say we go with the same name i'll write down help center simply and then just create and continue now click here just close this uh, setup google tag now this is what you need so this particular measurement id was the one that we were looking for you need to copy this measurement id go back to the help center and here go to the settings and analytics and you need to have that particular id mentioned in this particular section just copy paste it and your enable analytics has been done you can just simply close this particular window and you'll have a notification saying analytics for this site is enabled now you can just uh, you know take this particular url paste it on your browser and do some activity in this particular website maybe like scrolling or just checking out the names or anything like that right so now you have some activity done on your website maybe select some topics over here you can add those things and you have some sections you can just click on some links there you go and now if you go to the analytics home let's close this 
and you can just press the home button over here. So now you're on the home section here, open the topics, click on the help center and then you press and now you'll have the activity which has been happening on your website. So go back to your website that you created, do some activity here, you know, scrolling or selecting some options, clicking, go to the home page, documentation, although if you don't have any, so you have done some activity here, scrolling, selecting some sections, and then go back to the home page again and refresh this so that you have some activity which has been recorded. So there might be a small issue here if we go to the home. I think we have not received yet. So let's try to publish this once again. Return to editor. View published site. And now let's create some activity on this particular website. Again, maybe selecting the documentation or anything like that. Go back to the help center. Maybe you just have to refresh it. So there was a slight connectivity issue. Now it is recognizing the registrations and activity on the website that we just created. So this was a website that we created, a sample demo website, and it is now recognizing all the activities that are being happening on this particular web page. Now let's go to the demo account that Google Analytics has given us. So in this particular account, you can see total number of active users is about 14,000 worldwide and 12,000 plus key events are happening. And if you just go down a little bit here, you can see the total number of uh, users active in the last 30 minutes based on country wise and real time, right? And if you go down a little bit more, you can see a lot of organized visualizations which are currently happening on the Google Analytics demo account. And with that, we have reached the end of this session on Google Analytics tutorial. Should you need any assistance, PPT or any other resources used in this session, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.